Hello, I wanted to take this opportunity of saying well done to all Mandate members for the courageous stand taken yesterday morning in engaging in the first of our planned strikes in Lyons Pharmacy. Make no mistake about it, your actions have already been instrumental in driving up the terms and conditions of you and your fellow workers. Of course, Lloyd's management wants you to believe that recent changes would have been introduced anyway and have nothing to do with Mandate Trade Union and the activity of its members. The simple truth of the matter is this is an outrageous spin and insulting to you and your fellow workers' intelligence. Another sign that you are winning is the declaration yesterday by the company that they are immediately entering into fresh discussions with their CRC to consider additional improvements. Yes, the word deliberately used in the memo to staff was discussions, not negotiations, yet again providing further proof that the engagement with the company funded and controlled CRC is no more than a sham and principally designed to keep your union from gaining further strength in the business. If this type of momentum is possible with just over 30% of Lloyd's pharmacy workers and membership, think what is possible if this number continues to grow, as it has over the past week. Never forget, unlike your union, the CRC has no expertise or legal power to protect the recent improvements in workers' terms and conditions of employment. And once the company is convinced that they no longer have to worry about the union and its members, these advances can be taken away as quickly as they were introduced. For example, Lloyd's pharmacy workers had a sick pay scheme in the past, but management took that away without any agreement. Furthermore, and importantly, how can any worker in Lloyd's Pharmacy trust a management team that continues to deny the use of zero-hour contracts, despite evidence that they clearly exist within the company, as evidence in the contract that I have here? Now is the time to consolidate and improve on the recent advances, and clearly there is much work to be done. We still need to see meaningful progress in areas such as pay increases, pay scales, guaranteed weekly hours, a decent sick pay scheme, and premium payments. After yesterday's action, management have, as of yet, shown no sign of engaging with your union on these matters, and if this remains the case, we must push ahead with determination in preparation for next Friday's second day of action. Let's hope this will not be necessary, but management need to understand this type of disruption to the business will continue and escalate until you and your fellow union members' reasonable demands are met. Thank you for listening.